Hi, thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for August 6. The scripture says, For mine iniquities are gone over mine head. As an heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. Psalm 38 and verse 4. When Satan tells you that you are a sinner and cannot hope to receive blessing from God, tell him that Christ came into the world to save sinners. We have nothing to recommend us to God, but the plea that we may urge now and ever is our utter, our utterly helpless condition that makes his redeeming power a necessity. Renouncing all self-dependence, we may look to the cross of Calvary and say, In my hand no price I bring, simply to thy cross I cling. Satan cannot hold the dead in his grasp when the Son of God bids them live. He cannot hold in spiritual death one soul who in faith receives Christ's word of power. God is saying to all who are dead in sin, Awake, thou that sleepeth, and arise from the dead. That word is eternal life. If we receive the word, we have the deliverance. Whatever may have been your past experience, however discouraging your present circumstances, if you will come to Jesus just as you are, weak, helpless, and despairing, our compassionate Savior will meet you a great way off and will throw about you his arms of love and his robe of righteousness. He presents us to the Father clothed in the white raiment of his own character. He pleads before God in our behalf, saying, I have taken the sinner's place. Look not upon this wayward child, but look on me. Does Satan plead loudly against our souls, accusing of sin and claiming us as his prey? The blood of Christ pleads with greater power. Let us pray. Father, indeed, we thank you so much for the blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. Oh, what precious blood it is. Ah, and when sinners plunge beneath, <laughs> oh, Father, we thank you so much for the blood of Christ, the great plan of redemption, Jesus giving up his life for ours. And with no guarantee that on that third day, he was going to rise. What amazing love. Thank you that Jesus died for sinners. Thank you, because through Jesus' death, I have a chance to have eternal life. It is such a blessing for the gift that you have bestowed upon us. Help us to see the magnitude of this gift and help us to accept it. And Heavenly Father, help us to let others know of this wonderful gift that is there for anyone who's willing to accept. We thank you for your love. We thank you for Jesus' death on the cross. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. Help that as the devil talks, help us not to be mesmerized by his lies. Help us not to be distracted by the foolishness that he presents. Help us to keep our minds and our hearts fixed on Jesus Christ. Help us to be faithful to you because you have always, always been faithful to us. Most importantly, we're asking for your help to surrender. It is by surrendering that we will be able to stand no matter what the devil throws in our way. Thank you for your blessings and your love. Cleanse our hearts and minds, dear Lord. Thank you for your peace and your strength to keep pressing forward day by day. You are an awesome God. And there is nothing, 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 nothing that is too hard for you. 
So I thank you personally for your words of encouragement because I know there is nothing too hard for you and I know that you care about each and every one of us. We lift our family and our friends and our situations to you, dear Lord. Help us in our private times to speak to you intimately about the things that's going on in our lives. Help us to trust and know that you care. Forgive us of our sins. Cleanse our hearts and minds. We thank you for your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.